are ahead of you. Yo, this guy needs no introduction, man. This is my man Ray, one of the illest DJs you ever gonna see. This is my man right here, representing Sony. I love him. Yo, listen, first, yo, God bless you, man. Thank you, man. I, Can I just thank you first? I, no problem, man. Did you realize I spotted you? You're the first one out of the seat when Jackie T walked out. You were there with the belt. I'm like, that's hip hop. That's Hell awesome. yeah. That's, what's, that's why what we do what we do is because of guys like you, you jumped out of your seat several times. Yeah. And I'm sure Jackie T spotted you. That well, was awesome, man. Yo, listen, I, I love you guys, man. And you know how I feel. And I'm just passionate about the industry itself. I got to tell you something. I never seen anyone do a conference the way you guys did it and ended it off. It was biblical to me. It was a straight. Biblical. It, it was a biblical. It was biblical to me. And it was a straight sign of saying that, hey, we are gamers and we are for you. And we are going to continue to give you what you want, what you need. We are your provider. So how do you feel about how the conference went and how E3 overall has been for you with the games and all? To be honest, it blew my expectations. You know, I, wow. you know, working at PlayStation, you know, you're, you're in on the secrets early on because of rehearsals and production and stuff. Yeah. When I saw the console, when I knew the price, when I knew the messaging, and I knew, and I knew we were going to unleash Jack Treddon, we knew we had the planets finally aligned, things are going to be good, we knew we were going to dominate. Yeah. But we were not expecting the energy. You know, I've read, I've read posts online, people counting how long each pop was. That, you know, great announcement, you know, free DRM, you know, uh, the price and, and just the box itself, the console itself. Just looks sexy like a razor. This shit is amazing. Yes. I love it. Yes, it's, it's awesome. You, we, 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 we're, we're outpowering our competition uh, and we beat them in size and in price. And we're very, very proud of that. We're, we, we, we have a great, great console. We're very, very proud of it. Now, I've been talking to some of your friends. Yes. Which is also my friends. All and of our friends. All of our friends. one of the things that was so impressive about the conference is that you didn't have to show God of War. You didn't have to show Uncharted. You didn't have to show Last Guardian. There's so much that you guys are sitting on that you didn't even have to show. So it kind of is like a sports team that let their bench beat another competition starters. It's amazing. So to me, I feel like after all is said and done right now, you're feeling good. But then that's just setting up for the future. So what can we expect? Post release of PlayStation 4, like what's some of the energy that you guys got to go on top of what you already shown? It's actually a great question. It's all about momentum right now. You know, we 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 got to stay focused, stay true to stay true to our messaging, and I think we've got an amazing six months leading up to the holiday uh, release of the PlayStation 4. It's all about momentum. It's, it, it, um, you know, and staying true to the nation. You know, PlayStation Nation. You know, you guys have been with us for a while, uh, for a very long time, and we 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 want to and we want to kick ass for you. You know, we want to stay on point. And keep the momentum up and just stay humble you know yeah. we've got a great team we've got a great console and you know we want to continue kick ass for you guys Yo, i appreciate it and i love it i got a few more questions for you before i let you go now check this I'm out I yeah, you. yeah I, I appreciate it man now i got the question of all questions a lot of people was very excited when they found out that in 2014 the cloud service is going to roll out and basically that's your backwards compatibility because they already said PS3 games will be running on it. So is there anything you can share with us right now? I know David Perry's not here, but is there anything you can share with us about not only when it launches, but what can gamers expect? Because you hear about it, but you don't really know until you experience it yourself. Well, to, be, to be perfectly honest with you, I think what Dave Perry's doing with Gaika is pretty phenomenal. I think the tech behind it is crazy awesome. I think it's essentially you know cloud computing and being able to broadcast your PS Vita into your PS4 yeah. uh, is, is, is the answer, really. Um, sadly, great setup, great questions, great throw, but I don't have as much information as I should to be able to give you an honest gotcha. and, 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 uh, and confident answer. Gotcha. I have no details at this point. Seriously, I really don't. I nah, wish it's it, all good. Because you know, I, I would share all the secrets, but I really don't know. Nah, it's all good, it's all good. 2014, 2014 is definitely a year to look out for Geico. So it's going to be it's phenomenal. Now, I got something to tell you that I think you're going to be impressed with. Yes. I did my own personal impression. What? Oh, oh yeah. You ain't holding a new belt. This is the brand new belt. And I got the PlayStation controller at the top for you with Kratos' face right here. So, yeah, you got to hold the belt. Now, here's the thing that I wanted to ask you. Here's a crazy, crazy question. Now, I haven't seen Epic Games, you know what I'm saying, like around and stuff like that, like at this year's E3. They ain't hit the stage or nothing. But at the reveal, they was on your stage and showed off what can be done and stuff. We know the history in terms of Gears being on Xbox only and stuff, but from what I'm hearing from Mark Rain, he's going nuts about the PlayStation. Cliffy B My boy. is not with, yeah, I know. <laughs> Cliffy B is not with, you know, um, Epic Games right now. Ubisoft has spoke with him, but he hasn't made a decision. 
I heard rumors that he really loved what Sony is doing in terms of the message that they're sending and what they're doing and how open and how much love you're showing to indie developers, all of that. So I brought all of those dynamics together because I want to ask you a question. If Cliffy B said I would love to come and bring my talents to Sony, what would Sony say? You're going to ask me that question? Um, Hell yeah. All I can say to that is, you know, I spoke with Mark Rain at our pre-show before our press conference, and he's ex extremely excited to work and be working, having Unreal Engine working on the PlayStation 4. And we're excited that it's running phenomenal on the PlayStation 4. And as to Cliff Lezinski, I think he's a great dude. I think what he's doing is awesome. Um, and he's rocking the Lambo. Um, all I can say is, he's my bro, and we'd love him. We'd love to have him. It's like, who? it's, it's Cliff Lezinski. He's, he's one of us, you know? Uh, what he does, what he's been doing for the industry, you know, for, for many, many years, I can safely say, you know, thanks to him, thanks to, thanks to what he's done, thanks to the Unreal Legend, thanks to a lot of phenomenal titles he's put out there. We, we, we're all here, literally, we're all here. You know, our competitors, ourselves, you, me, you know, it's thanks to guys like Cliff this game, um, we're all here. That's all I can say, really. <laughs> Sony Santa Monica showed the order. I almost lost all of my soul, all right? That was sort of the point of that, yeah. <laughs> when I saw the order, and then they said, in engine, I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, in terms of, I'm not sure if you got a chance to see anything that we didn't see yet, but for that to be in engine, and for that to be a new IP, like, what else? Like, I mean, how much more do you guys got? Because there's a lot more. <laughs> there's a lot. I heard that you guys got, twenty, like, 20 games, all exclusive for PlayStation 4 being in development, it only saw a few. So I'm like, damn, like, you know, what are they doing? So Gamescom is coming up. Tokyo. Yeah, Gamescom is coming up. Tokyo Game Show is coming up. What's the plans for those? Well, we were, we love Tokyo Game Show. We love Gamescom. Uh, we know we've got two big conferences on the way. We've got more, major more announcements. We're, like I said, it's all about momentum. So it's about, state, it's about showcasing the PlayStation 4 and all its glorified beauty. Uh, and it's not just the console, it's about the titles, it's about the game, it's about independent titles, it's also about PlayStation 3, it's also about PS Vita. And, you know, we blew it out of the park uh, this, this year when E3 with PlayStation 4, but PlayStation Vita's got so much more to go. You know, we've got so much more to, we got so much more love to show, to showcase. And I can, I can, I can safely say Gamescom is definitely going to be the PS Vita show, so you'll see. Really? Oh, yo, stay tuned for Gamescom. I knew it, dude, I knew it. Alright, now, here's the thing I want to tell you. And this is the impressions. I had, I held the PlayStation 4 controller and played with it. I used the, hey, what's up, Herbie? What's going on, baby? Yeah, it's my man right there, Killzone all day. Now, listen, right? I played with the PlayStation 4 controller, and I played with the Xbox One controller. Now, here's my honest impression. And I ain't just saying this because, you know, I got Sony here, because I got the Xbox logo here, the Wii Bowl, and the PlayStation. I mess with everybody. I love it all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh well, there you go. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm so happy to announce and say that PlayStation 4, I think you guys have the better controller this generation. And I'm going to tell you why. You guys fixed those triggers. You fixed that shit. So thank you for that. But I'm, not it, I'm not taking credit for that one. But on and, and behalf of PlayStation, thank yeah, you. On behalf of PlayStation, thank you for fixing the triggers. But I felt that Xbox One controller was a bit smaller. The analog stick was a bit skinnier. So it still feel good. But I still like the 360 controller better, in my opinion. With the PlayStation 4 controller, it's better than PS3. Period. Like, okay. I, I say like enhanced. You know it's enhanced. It, it's enhanced a lot. It's better. So, because of the controller and the touchpad and everything like that, in your opinion, things that you know or don't know behind the scenes, how important is that controller and the features of it that's going to play a role in the decision that gamers are going to make when they choose PS4? Well. The DualShock 4 is extremely important. It's what the gamer's holding, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. A lot of love, not just the way it looks, not the way it feels, but just, just you know, what it does. It's like it's all about that share button. It's like the, the ability to just hit one button and immediately share uh, gameplay, uh, your your matches. You know, to be able to connect with your friends right away. We put a lot of love into that feature because we know it's the year 2013, and we all love to brag about how awesome we are. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We made it very easy for you to brag. It's the brag button. <laughs> the brag button. I like that. Yo, I like that. The brag button. That's hot. Can I just say I love your cameraman? He's been clotheslining everyone. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Shout out to Critical Icon Brown for all the clotheslines and forearms. Come around yourself, dude. This guy's awesome. I got to go, dude. But I, okay, yo, do your thing. God bless. I'm going to holler at you guys later, man. That's Ray. That's Sony. And we here, baby. PS4, E3. Peace.
so check. much. Yo, yo, people doubted me. Straight out the gate was the first mistake. Five years in now, labeled as a heavyweight. Game industry.